I'm here with Lisa Ryan, who drove a double last Friday night with uh, the Commander and Broadway Harry, uh, but not your first double, Lisa. No, not my first double. A couple of years ago, I drove for an outside stable on Town of Dreams and then one of ours, Tarleton Lee. So, no, that was my second double. Now, a couple of nice wins. Um, I've got here that uh, you went to the front on uh, the Commander um, and, well, the way I saw it, you had Countdown Lombo beaten uh, half a lap out. I hope that was the case. He uh, he can pull up a bit. The commander he got a bit tired on the line, but uh, but no, we had that one beaten. So yeah, that was that was good. That's timing, Lisa. Yeah, I know about that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the other one, uh, happy to ta happy to come off and took the lead without much trouble. Yes, yeah, he he was a long way down in class, Broadway Harry. So where uh, he was a short price favourite, so I was in a bit of trouble if I didn't get him home. <laughs> well, I think there was a bit of petrol left too, don't you? Yeah, there was absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Now the stable's been on fire. Uh, Jeremy Jetsetter, uh, that was a nice win the other night too with uh, Jock Dunlop in the uh, sulky. Yeah, Jock drove him a treat. You know, sat behind that uh, that good horse, almost a virgin, who who runs the whole way, and we thought the only way we could beat it was to sit on its back and, and then just ping it up the straight and that's exactly what Jock did so um, so yeah he went terrific he's a nice little horse yeah well, he didn't want the sprint lane he just uh, went outside uh, I think I can't no I think he went outside in the end yeah, yeah he, took, he runs up the track a touch so um, so yeah that was what we did yeah now uh, Caribbean Crest uh, held the lead uh, and kicked away when uh, when the pressure came on. Yeah, he's our he's our favourite. And he's Toby's favourite as well. So uh, yeah, he's a terrific horse. And, and given the right run, he's normally very competitive. So I was just lucky enough to drive him. We well, all our favourites, and it's nice when they win, isn't it? Absolutely, it is. Yeah, made our night. Now the other one that uh, the stable has kicked home recently is uh, Santuri Cress. Um, went straight to the front and didn't want to hand up, but uh, withstood a bit of pressure. Yeah, she did. She's a funny horse. If she uh, if she draws out wide and, and has to come three wide, she won't try. But if she's on the fence or, or outside the leader, she really tries hard. And uh, yeah, she dug deep and, and wouldn't give up. So it's good. She's she's firing at the moment. Well, so we can go to the piggy bank for uh, all these. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they're, they're they're going okay. Depending on draws and drives, and they're going okay. Yeah. Well, I don't think you'll need too many troubles in the drive departments. I mean, they were all lovely drives and uh, um, the draws are important, but, um, you know, uh, you get a bit of luck. And with the sprint lane nowadays, well, it, you, you don't have to rely on coming around them all the time. No, no, that's right. It's great. I mean, the, the, the fence is the place to be, isn't it? And uh, if you're there, it, you, it can open up for you. Now, when I inter um, uh, interviewed Toby, I asked him about the mixing the vet and the training. Um, how do you cope with that? It is busy. It's a busy lifestyle because we've got two young boys and they're very sporty, not into horses at all. But uh, that means, you know, we have to juggle a lot of things. Like tonight, Toby's got to fly off and do cricket training. He's coaching the under-14 cricket team. So uh, I take the horses home and he'll go to cricket. So, yeah, the vet, the boys, the horses, it, it's busy, but it's a great lifestyle. So cricket practice is already upon us, eh? Oh, yeah, cricket practice and baseball practice was yesterday morning. So, yeah, it's, it's flat out. Good on you, Lisa. Thanks very much for your time and uh, keep booting home those winners. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Lisa Ryan.